Hey everybody, Mark from StickerU.com. I know it's been a little bit since I brought you a cigar review, but I uh, started doing some new things at work and just get busy, and I still smoke a lot of cigars, I just don't have as much time to actually sit down and review as many as I like. Got about five on the schedule to try to get done in the next week or so. Uh, Cole took me out of the game for about five days, otherwise I would have been a little bit ahead of the time. But anyway, tonight I'm going to give you a review of the Ezra Zion Tantrum PA, which stands for Passive Aggressive. And uh, anyone that follows me knows I'm a big fan of the Ezra Zion cigars. Um, they actually easily won our cigar of the year in 2012. Um, the predecessor to this, the regular Tantrum, which was the shorter size, actually won our cigar of the year 2013 last year. It was close between one and two, but it took number one spot actually ended up being the uh, half wheel consensus for cigar of the year um so we made uh, the right decision there i think because a lot of people seem to agree um this is the pa which is short for passive aggressive um it's a slightly different blend it's not as bold uh according to the design uh but supposed to be still really really good i have not yet had one so this is the first time i'm going to be sparking it up uh it's a little chilly out but i'm going to go ahead and bundle up Turn on Mr. Heater, head outside, and I'll check back in um, and let you know what I think right around the one quarter point. Alright, hey everybody, doing my first check in. Probably only about, I'd say, 15 minutes in. I haven't had to uh, flick the ash or anything yet. Um, right off the get go, this is a, a really good cigar, but from the beginning, uh, don't expect the same pow you got from the Tantrum. I mean, the Tantrum was probably one of my one of my all-time favorite cigars over the last four or five years, so uh, it's going to be hard to follow up, and they did make a fact known this is not the, the same blends there. They don't have that tobacco left, so, you know, if you have any of those in your humidor, save them for a special occasion, because we're not getting that one back again, um, but so far this is starting off very good. Uh, slight pepper, a little bit of a spiciness to it, a little bit of a, uh, like a jalapeno pepper, um, not so much like a overpowering spice, uh, just more of a like a hot pepper, jalapeno type spice, uh, spice going on. Uh, again, the construction as usual from Ezra Zion, it's going to be perfect. Uh, it's burning almost razor sharp here outside with a Mr. Heater. Got the hockey game on in the background, uh, just relaxing and enjoying it, pairing it with a nice uh, Dirt Wolf Craft IPA. Uh, so it's going to be a good night. What's nice about this is it's the longer. Uh, it's a six and a half by 44, so we probably got about an hour and a half smoke out of this. Um, so I'm looking forward to the transitions from what I I've read it starts off pretty good, spicy and bold, then it gets a little more mellow, then it gets, you know, spicy and bold again, bordering from medium to full, back and forth, uh, which is where it gets its name, Passive Aggressive. Uh, I've never been disappointed by an Ezra Zion, so uh, I'm liking it so far. I think it's very good. It is unique from the Tantrum uh, of last year, um, but it's good. It's very good. So uh, we're going to keep smoking down and see how it develops. All right, by checking back in. I'm right around the 35-minute point or so. I uh, had to ash it twice. <clears throat> Uh, the pepper and the really bold full bodiness has tapered off quite a bit, which actually just made me laugh to myself while I'm sitting out here alone. Because uh, the name, you know, the passive aggressive and what I read said it, it kind of basically goes from really full and bold and spicy, and then all of a sudden it just kind of chills out, uh, which is really nice. It's really cool, actually. It's still very, very good flavored. Uh, I'm actually getting a little bit of sweetness from it, which is something I don't normally get from an Ezra Zion. Um, I can't tell you exactly because I haven't uh, had a tantrum in probably five or six months, but uh, I don't remember any sweetness in the previous one. It's not a bad thing, just it's unique to this particular blend. Um, so right now it's just kind of easy smoking, real good thick smoke coming from it that you can fill your mouth with. Um, sort of like the, I like to say pea soup type smoke, that's what I'm getting out of it. But it's just chill right now, it's relaxing, it's enjoyable, which is great. I'm just out here relaxing, no rush. Um, no spice, almost very, very little bit on the back of your tongue. Um, just a smooth, clean tobacco, a little bit of, I guess a little bit of sweetness, maybe a little creamy, milkiness from it. Kind of like, uh, like a really mild cocoa, maybe. Uh, but just really enjoying it. I'm going to keep going and uh, see what the final third looks into. But so far, it is an excellent cigar. Uh, it's not the tantrum of the old, but that's that's a nice thing. Um, I mean, wish we could have tons of them because they were great. But this is a nice uh, nice mix. It's also longer, so you can almost double the time you're going to get out of the previous one. And uh, it's unique, so I'm enjoying it. I'll check back in a little bit. All right, everybody, doing a final check-in here before I go ahead and remove the band. <clears throat> and we're getting back to a, a more medium-bodied stick. Uh, probably for about, I guess, 20, 25 minutes, we were right in that, um, <clears throat> basically the passive mode of the cigar, um, where it was kind of mild, just chill, good, a um, little sweet, little kind of uh, creamy flavors from it. Right now, it's just starting to build back up, just starting to get a little more stronger. Uh, I'm anticipating it's going to get even, even more even uh, more powerful as it goes on. Uh, but this has been a fantastic cigar. Another great cigar from Ezra Zion. They, they don't disappoint. 
I'm um, going to go ahead and give this one a solid rating of a 92. Uh, while it's not as high as rated as the original Tantrum, which again was our cigar of the year last year, rated at 94, uh, it's still a very, very good cigar. And honestly, if I hadn't had the other Tantrum, this may have even got rated a little bit higher, uh, and I, I don't really want to have that go into the impact of the rating, um, but on a standalone by itself, it is an excellent cigar, very good, uh, very worthy of the 92 rating. Um, I don't think it's going to be our cigar of the year, but it definitely has a good shot of being in the top 10. Um, it's just that good of a cigar they put out. They don't put out a ton of different cigars, but when they put a cigar out, as Zion always puts out a quality cigar. Uh, so the Tantrum PA for me, is a very good to excellent cigar. I would definitely pick them up if you see them because just like the Tantrum, um, they're going to be gone before you even know it and you're going to regret it later on. Uh, I can't imagine what some age would do to this. I would imagine that they'd even get better uh, with four or five months in the humidor. So I want to give a big thanks to Ezra Zion for sending this over. Again, a solid rating of a 92. It's an excellent cigar. It's a worthy predecessor of its original. You know, it's not as good as the first one, but everything can be as good as that. Like I said, that was one of the best cigars I've had probably in five years. Um, but this is one of the better cigars I've had this year. Probably will make it to the top 10, but we'll see in about a month or so when the ratings come out. And thanks for checking out stickreview.com.